Hi, I'm Amy Ammon from Amiable Dog Training. In 1976, I started competing in obedience trials and junior showmanship with Tess, my Siberian Husky. Quickly, I became hooked on the sport of dog training and showing. I developed a fascination with every breed and eventually owned a flat-coated retriever, an Australian cattle dog, a Briard, a Whippet, a Japanese Chin, an American Staffordshire Terrier, and the list goes on and on. Now as a dog trainer, I'm often asked, what is your favorite breed? Well, I have lots of them, and I've compiled a short list for you. I haven't owned any of these dogs, but they are on my wish list. Poodles come in three sizes, standard, miniature, and toy. They are a favorite of mine because of their intelligence, trainability, loyalty, and sense of humor. Although my list is only based on personality, I should mention that one of the many selling points of owning poodles is that they don't shed, but on the other hand, they do need extensive grooming. Contrary to their reputation, Dobermans are not menacing or vicious. With proper breeding, socialization, and training, they are a great family dog. Again, I selected Dobermans for their temperament, but an obvious bonus is their striking elegance. Although the Norwegian Elkhound is a member of the Hound group, it looks a little out of place next to the Bloodhound and Greyhound. While the others are more independent workers, Elkhounds are generally more interested in working with people. They are wonderful to be around because they're social and not too dominant. Border Collies have a seemingly endless supply of talent and energy which they are eager to channel into work. In fact, if you don't give them work to do, their boredom will cause you misery. Since I love to work my dogs, I'm a huge fan of this breed. Although they can mellow in the last half of their lives, choose a Border Collie only if you want training and exercise to be a big part of your lifestyle. In the toy group, there are many breeds with a serious demeanor. The pug isn't one of them. They are good-natured and silly and will add levity to your life. Naturally, the cobby body and flat face and wheezing, snorting, and snoring amplify the pug's comic personality. Golden Retrievers are considered the quintessential family companion. Though faithful and eternally optimistic and resilient to many stresses of our world, don't take the Golden's good nature for granted. Just because Goldens are renowned for being easygoing and trainable, all dogs are individuals and need proper direction and handling. My latest dog, by the way, is Abel. Okay. <laughs> He's a mixed breed from Wisconsin Humane Society. And I realize that regardless of pedigree, I love the dog I own.